Hi Geminis, welcome to your extended reading and thank you so much for being a part of my Patreon family. I hope you enjoy this extra content here. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to do a mini relationship spread. Um, we're going to look at your person's, person's mental, emotional, and behavioral energies. And um, <clears throat> if I'm inclined to ask any additional questions, I will do so. We'll get additional advice from the um, Oracle decks, the Romance Angels and the Divine Energy Oracle decks. And then we'll pull the likely outcome with the Kipper deck. So let's go ahead and get into it. Three shuffles. I do feel very much so like some of you are resisting change. There is a need for change to occur in your life. This is Pluto energy. It's probably trying to bring in some transformation, some rebirth. And it's very uncomfortable for you and you're resisting it. However, it needs to take place and it's kind of inevitable. Like I said, you cannot avoid <clears throat> the lesson. If you avoid the person that the lesson is trying to be taught through, the lesson will find another vessel to teach you. Um, so, like I said, it's inevitable. Two more, please. One. <clears throat> yeah, like I think a lot of you are blaming yourselves. You feel very, very guilty. You have a lot of regret, resentment. Just not good energy to be in. Overall, trying to find balance and manage those volatile factors within you. Trying to find balance between the heart and the mind. Trying to find balance between the ego and the intuition. I love it. Sagittarius energy. Jupiter is retrograde in Sagittarius right now as well. <clears throat> so I feel like some of you are being extremely pessimistic right now. You feel like you don't have any support. Maybe no emotional support. You feel like your friends aren't on your side. Or... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe you feel like there's emotional distance or there is um, like a nonchalant um, vibe coming from the people who are around you. You feel like um, nobody really cares about whatever it is that you're going through. And I think <clears throat> your perception is so warped by your ego that that's not true at all. I think your fears and your ego is just getting the best of your mental state and causing you to think that nobody's on your side um, or that you don't have any support um, or there's no one that you can call on. This could also represent you neglecting some responsibilities, overindulging, partying too much, going out too much, <clears throat> excuse me, drinking too much as well for some of you. Um, that's cancer energy as well. So like a lot of you could be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer Gemini cusp or could have cancer somewhere else in your chart. It could also be um, affected from the solar eclipse that we had in cancer recently on the second as well. Um, but you are trying to, I think your angels, your guides, the universe is trying to help you establish balance and find balance and, and help help there to be blending and harmony between your heart and your mind, your ego and your intuition. <clears throat> Trying its best to manage those volatile factors within you to keep you afloat. This is a major cycle that you're approaching, um, that you're um, on the brink of closing. This is in your emotional space. <clears throat> I think you are deep down in your heart ready for something new. You're ready to overcome this phase. You're ready for the next era. Um, but this represents a lesson, success and completion, and you will not start this new phase until you learn this lesson and <clears throat> excuse me and I think right now a lot of you are avoiding it but I think spirit knows the divine knows the universe knows how bad you want it and it's here to help you it's here to help you um and it's also sending you people to help you but I think you're kind of avoiding those people or you're keeping an emotional distance because we remember we had the four of cups in the previous reading so I think you are keeping an emotional distance and you're wanting the, the situation to be manipulated in your favor <clears throat> and you're wanting people to do things your way and then it's like you blame them for not doing things your way like oh well you're not really my friend if you won't do it like this but really it's not in your best interest so you're not being your friend and you're projecting your fears on your actual friends. If that's the case, then apply it to whatever situation it, it, um, 
makes sense for you but in your heart space you really 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 do want this next chapter to open up this this you want this chapter to close and you're ready for the new phase the next phase the next era to open up you're ready to learn this lesson but you don't want to do the work that involves that it involves you want to come to a conclusion you want to get to the next level um it's earth energy saturn energy saturn is retrograde it's also capricorn for me as a reader saturn is in capricorn retrograde <clears throat> so i think you are very much so being affected by pluto energy jupiter energy and saturn energy yay good for you your behavior maybe you are trying to offer love or maybe um uh, love is being offered to you but this represents of course abundance um love passion growth in relationships maybe you are trying to or attempting to create growth in this relationship this could represent a new beginning or a new partnership <clears throat> fruitfulness or intuition you could be listening to your intuition or trying to create a new beginning let's go ahead and clarify this spread The Queen of Pentacles and the Moon in the Reverse came out. Get a hold of your fears. You really got to get a hold of your fears. The Moon in the Reverse could talk about um, deep emotions that are suppressed that need to be addressed. Um, I think you need to tend to that. You do need to tend to those deep emotions. You need to go ahead and nurture that but be patient and be kind with yourself and i think the queen of pentacles um being the slowest is like just means just to be patient with yourself as you you know reveal yourself to yourself you know what i'm saying like dig deep and address those fears and like really get down to the bottom of where is this coming from and really nurture that energy and really sit with it for a little bit and be very generous to yourself with that with your time and your energy and effort put some energy and effort into um observing those fears and where those fears come from and why uh why you're suppressing your deep emotions or your intuition like really put some effort into that that's what i get from that really nurture that all right, let's clarify for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Queen of Cups with the temperance, um, clarifying temperance. Definitely trying to keep your emotions balanced, keep your intuition and your spirituality uh, or your spiritual nature high. Um, you could be feeling very intuitive, very spiritual. You may just be a very spiritual person. Or I think your emotions um, could just be getting, I won't say getting the best of you, but could be just very strong or very intense during this time. Um, advanced or, or growing emotions with this situation. I think your emotions are just running high. But not necessarily in a bad way or a dramatic way or an imbalanced way. I think that there definitely is some imbalance. But I think you are handling it a lot better than you think you are. Your fears are just causing you to freak out. But you're really um, like following your heart. You could be very creative at this point. And like I said, very intuitive. And you could be getting messages from spirit and your guys and, and following them without realizing it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, just have more faith in yourself. That's good stuff. Again, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign or have water in your chart. You may be a moon cancer or some shit. I don't know. You can find out um, by clicking the link in the description of any of my YouTube videos. There's a link to Cafe Astrology as well as an um, instructional video showing you how to pull your birth chart. Um, but yeah, on your mind. <laughs> yeah. Definitely abu abusing some power of the Emperor in the re reverse with the Three of Cups in the reverse. Definitely, um, <clears throat> this is your person's mind. I'm sorry. This could be you, though, Gemini. I feel like for a lot of you, this is probably you. Um, or this probably is how your person views you. 
But the emperor represents an abuse of power, somebody who is lacking emotion or repressing their feelings, being cold and distant. Like I said, this is also emotional distance. So definitely emotional distance, being inflexible and controlling, using power and structure and order irresponsibly, also bullying. You could be trying to bully your friends or being very stubborn and rigid. Incompetent management at work. This could be like a boss who's just like a not not a good leader. <clears throat> but in this particular spread, I think this is you trying to control um, your friends or your friend or feeling like your friends want to control. I don't know. There's some type of control factor, whoever it is. There's some type of control. Somebody's trying to control or manipulate the situation. Somebody feels like their friends aren't on their side, but at the same time, it's like almost like using your situation or your ailment or your condition or something to try to manipulate your friends um, to do something for you, to do something that's not good for you anyway, and then blaming them. Blaming them and making like sending them on a guilt trip for not being coerced into participating in your self sabotage, if that makes sense. Um, this is Aries energy with the Empress, uh, the Emperor, not the Empress, the Emperor, and the Three of Cups. So, yeah, this is definitely abuse of power. Definitely, I definitely sense the coldness and the lacking emotion, like repressing your emotions and like like I said major emotional distance and having control issues fear will make you want to control the situation so you you'll try to manipulate every single factor of the situation so that you can feel like um there's you know I know exactly what's going on I know exactly what's going to happen because I'm in control but you're not in control sorry to break it to you universe is the divine is I knew this was going to come up or something like it because I definitely said that there was Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Jupiter energy um, affecting you, Saturn energy affecting you, and Pluto energy, and lo and behold, the death card, Pluto, Scorpio energy is in the reverse. In your heart, you are ready for this next chapter, but you are resisting the change. Like I said, it was in the reverse on the bottom of the deck at the beginning of the reading. Um, wanting a change but resisting the, the part that needs to take place in order for this change to come in um, also not like being unable to move forward either being lazy feeling bored you could be in a in a depressive state as well but I think this is re this is you refusing to let go of something I think it's also refusing to let go of your own ego or your own ways or whatever it is that you are doing to contribute to you staying where you are resisting change basically or making the process more challenging than it needs to be and I feel like that is very much so what's going on you desperately want this new beginning but you do not want to go through the changes that are necessary in order to obtain it say la vie right then we have the King of Cups, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. So st strong self-expression and exuberance, passionate energy, creative energy, um, free-spirited energy. I think you're, you could be offering love. You could, I think you try, probably are just trying to find new connections and new loving relationships. You're probably just being like a little bit of a social butterfly. And I think you're probably trying to find enablers. You're probably trying to go out and offer love to people who are not hip to your bullshit. And who don't know that you're trying to get them to help you stay in your comfort zone. Help you resist the changes that you are inevitably going to go through anyway, eventually. Um, but the King of Wands uh, being here. Yeah, could be a business leader could be a business leader um but yeah you are you're definitely confident being very dynamic and very um very exuberant i'm getting also like flashy like you are really trying to just make new friends let me get another one 
further clarify the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands, please. I think you're just out trying to make new friends. You could be trying to make new business relationships. Whatever the situation is that you are in, you're trying to find another connection to like either fill a void or substitute for this person, this connection, this relationship, whatever it is. Trying to make new connections to avoid the lesson, but guess what? Spirit will use them too. The magician. Lack of focus, lack of creative energy, or not lack of creative energy, but definitely lack of focus, lack of um, organization. Um, give me one second. Mercury energy, Gemini or Virgo energy, um, being indecisive or poor follow through, lacking commitment, um, lacking energy, cheating, conning. Yeah, I think you're trying to cheat. You're trying to cheat. You're trying to cheat the universe. You're trying to cheat the game of life. Um, false appearances also. I think you're out trying to manifest these new connections that are not actually genuine, but you're putting up a good front. Like you're making it look real good, but... Being misled or misinformed, creative blocks, or delays to plans. I think this is just also a lack of commitment. I think you are um, lacking commitment to your current either soul tribe or the friends that are in your life that are truly, genuinely trying to help you and you're out trying to make new connections, trying to cheat the game of life, thinking that you can win another way. Let's get romance angels for you, Gemini. <clears throat> Before I pull that, let's see. Three cards for what is Gemini's person? What is their likely? How did I just say this in my head? How are they going to respond? How are they going to respond to Gemini? Three cards for how Gemini's person will respond. Uh oh. Two more. Um. All right. So, Gemini, I actually feel like this is your energy, though. The Sun, the Queen of Cups, and the Reverse, and the Ace of Swords. I think somebody's going to get some clarity or some truth's going to come to the light about how overly emotional or emotionally manipulative or dramatic or intense and um, manipulative this energy is i think some some clarity is going to come out about this with the sun the queen of cups this is leo um cancer pisces scorpio and then aquarius libra gemini some clarity is going to come out there maybe some 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 truth coming to light with the sun card um and the king and the ace of swords but there's i think there's some clarity or maybe even some communication about this behavior this emotional immaturity or or manipulative behavior could also represent um i think not listening to your intuition or unreasonable demands or pressure could also be disloyalty in relationships um there could be some light shed on um this person could be realizing that you're out trying to make new connections or that you're trying to if it's a love relationship and you're trying to find like side chicks or side dudes to supplement what you feel like you're missing in this relationship all because you are trying your damnedest to avoid this transformation that you need to go through in order to get to this new chapter that you desperately want um your person is either probably finding out and confronting you about it and they're very hurt by it that could be what the queen of cups is representing and they could just be making that very they could be speaking speaking their mind and bringing some shining some light bringing you know, speaking their truth on that. This also represents growth and recovery, happiness, vitality, 
but growth and recovery and I think recovery from your inner child or childhood traumas it represents success completion the Sun card um, positivity could also represent children or yeah contentment feeling restored and I feel like um I think maybe this person was under the impression that things were fine maybe you put up a good front um and then maybe this person was under the impression that things were fine and it's gonna really hurt them when they realize that you are out trying to create new connections with other people so let's go ahead and pull the romance angels All right, any advice for Gemini? Summer rising Venus and Jupiter signs, please. One more. Any advice for Geminis? That was too fast. Any advice for Gemini? Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. a stack <laughs> let your friends help you ask for and accept the support of others i think that is the very thing that you're trying to avoid you're trying to make new friends who will just enable you and let you be who you are and won't challenge you to grow or change and it won't encourage you to go through these transformations flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others and i think you are already doing that but i think you need to extend this energy to the friends that you already have not the new ones that you're trying to make because those won't be your real friends anyway and you'll find out one way or another. All right, so I think that's good because a bunch of cards just popped out. All right, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yes, I think you do possess a lot of passion for this person or for this connection. There's a lot of passion between you or you feel very passionately. Or they feel very, very passionately about you or you feel very passionately about them. I think the passion too comes from if it's a platonic relationship, I think the passion comes from them, their desire to really help you overcome your fear and to um to heal and just to be the best version of you that you can be finances and career financial issues are affecting your love life right now your finances um maybe your focus right now there could be some financial fears that are keeping you from um you know being able to have the confidence that you need in this chapter right now work could be kind of shaky excuse me some of you could be like self-employed or entrepreneurs or like moonlighting something like that love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive absolutely um you cannot i just said this in the taurus reading you cannot attract love in the vibration of fear so um if you are in a fear-based environment or mode or mood all the time you need to focus on self-care self-love and i think rather than trying to initiate these connections elsewhere and provide love and passion and um showing your personality to other people i think you should show that a little bit inwardly um give it to yourself because you need it Get some advice from the Divine Energy Oracle deck. Any advice for Geminis? Okay. That popped right on out. Any advice for Geminis? Advice for Geminis, please. Uh-oh. Live life to the fullest showed itself to me. <laughs> Trust the Divine Plan absolutely raise your vibration i think this is telling you to get out of that fear base fear is way down here and love is way up here you may also be a taurus gemini cuss so you may want to check out that video um or you may have taurus in your chart because i think some of the same stuff kind of came up there choose your friends wisely i love that yes really really marinate on what it is that you're doing when you're trying to manipulate 
these new friends or people who you want to call your friends who will not actually be your friends. Really think about that. Claim your art. It's about being artistic and self-expressive in a way that's responsible. In a way that forgive and forget. If somebody betrayed you or if somebody hurt you with the harsh truth or presented you with some harsh reality that you just did not want to face, you have to forgive them and forget. And also you have to get over any past heartbreak or anything else that is um, clouding your judgment or your mind that's keeping you from moving forward, keeping you stuck in a state of fear. Excuse me. <clears throat> and trust the divine plan. Trust that it's all going to work out. Trust that after you give into this transformation that this new chapter that you want is on its way. After this ending, after this death of your old self, you will rebirth into something new and better and you just have to trust that it's all going to work out and live your life to the fullest you can't do that if you're fear if you're in a place of fear and worry you have to raise your vibration so that you can let's go ahead and get the likely outcome from the kipper deck and we are going to wrap this reading up Likely outcome for Gemini's, please. What's the likely outcome? What's the likely outcome for Gemini's, please. Mm. <clears throat> oh, wow despair bad health and courtship so if this is a relationship if you continue down the path that you're going it's gonna bring um i don't get <clears throat> like actual physical ailment health from this but i think it's gonna it's gonna deteriorate the health of the relationship like everything that's good in this connection is going to deteriorate it's gonna bring despair and and bad health to the connection that you share with this person especially whether this is a relationship, or an intimate relationship, a platonic relationship, a friendship, a romantic relationship, um, a family member. It's going to bring you despair and bad health. Let's flip through the Kipper deck real quick and look at despair. Not Nothing good going to come from this if you keep down, keep down this path. Now, this is just... Looking at the likely outcome based on the way things are going right now, we always have free will. We can change this however we want. If we want, you have the opportunity to change it. It's a very challenging card here. Poor, uh, it represents, I'm sorry, hold on. A member of working poor, distraught from unemployment, reduced to letting a tear slip in the street, literally grieving or weeping. It can show severe stress leading to emotional exhaustion, serious concussions, fevers, or migraines. This card is most commonly used for jealousy with luck. Oh, let's see. A positive card will, oh, be next to it. No, it's not a positive card next to it. Unfortunately, it's not a very promising card unless surrounding cards mitigate it. You may be tortured by worries and stress. Despair either describes a relationship that is characterized by trouble or you suffer from a heavy workload or fear of a job loss. That could also be where your fears are coming from because finances and career came up too. So your fear could be completely um, finan financial ba fi finance based or materialistically based um, based on um, the state of your finances at this point. This card always warns you not to expect too much of others, of ourselves and others. Despair brings grief, adversity, and obstacles. This card is, uh, this is a card of brooding and worrying, frustration, headaches, fever, jealousy, and anger. But things will work out if positive cards are close. We have bad health. Um, literally means poor health, a cold, minor illness, or sprain. Um... A checkup could be in order. Some of you could be getting some bad news about your actual health. You could be deteriorating your energy so much to the point where you are experiencing physical ailments like headaches and other other ailments and illnesses or whatever. Um, let's see here. It indicates sickness, depression, addiction, or problems. It can be a serious illness. Um 
let's see is it time to rest and recover now you should retire and do nothing it can indicate a patient's room it, let's see it indicates problems in a relationship accompanied by feelings of powerlessness um, at a professional level it describes a temporary break um, in the form of an illness and inability to act yeah this is 32 and 31 I think whatever this this energy is that it's definitely gonna affect the courtship courtship like I said can uh, can apply to any type of int intimate relationship or loving connection um, it's probably a new relationship but it's a, yeah the early stages of a relationship um, no one's wildly in love just yet this card represents social life meetings arrangements clubs groups are friendly encounters be open for a new person who enters your life um, it, it can also indicate all private and public meetings getting together either socially romantically or for business reasons attempting to seduce or talk to someone talk someone into something so it's some type of intimate relationship or connection um, this is going to ruin this connection, especially if it's something new and you find out this person is challenging you and they are going to require you to grow and they're not going to accept you um, having a pity party for yourself or playing the victim. If you continue trying to manipulate this and trying to get this person to um, get on board with your self-sabotage, you're going to ruin this connection. I just got to be honest. Um, I don't want to pull any more additional cards because um, I was like, oh, let me pull three more cards to see if there's any other um, any other likely outcome scenarios. But honestly, Gemini, um, I think if I leave it this way, it's like almost like you have to be scared into being unscared if that makes sense like um you almost need to see how bad it can get if you continue to vibrate so low and dwell in this place of worry and fear and despair it's probably going to actually bring you bad health like actual bad health some of you may end up in a, in a hospital or actually t need a caretaker to come or a nurse or you need you may oh excuse me you may need to see some type of medical professional because of the energy that is draining you and just bringing you down it could be that bad and it's almost like if fear is the only thing you're responding to right now then maybe your intuition is going to use fear to scare you straight you know so best of luck to you, Gemini. Be patient and be kind with yourselves. And do um, take some time out to take care of yourself. Do some self-care. Do some baths, a spiritual bath. Meditate. Go for a run. Go for a jog. Go swimming. Do whatever it is that helps you relax and um, feel artistic. And it puts you in a um, lighthearted, um, high vibrational state. And I wish you the best. Thank you so much for being a part of my Patreon team. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it provides you with some type of clarity and insight. And until next time, peace, love, and light. Bye.